When it comes to talking about the top weapons and shields, it's usually just about how powerful they can be. And while getting the most powerful weapons and shields in Tears of the Kingdom by utilizing the fuse mechanic is super awesome, I want to talk about my favorite miscellaneous fused weapons and shields that may not be the strongest at all, but I find them fun or cute or aesthetically pleasing. I want to share some of my favorite things to fuse to weapons and shields. Not so much for power or buffs, but rather just for funsies. My first favorite but useless thing to fuse is the ring garland you probably purchased at Kakariko Village from Coco, who made them inspired by the ring ruins that showed up in Kakariko. It's really adorable that not only she is it's really adorable that not only is she selling these creations, but everyone wears the ring garland as headwear or it's on display, like in stables or something. When I first saw it and bought it for only five rupees, I figured it was a wearable item, just like everybody else was wearing. But I was surprised to see that, you know, it wasn't. It didn't get smaller or anything, and not even something that goes into inventory. It's just there to pick up. And so you can fuse your ring garland to a shield or a weapon, and while it doesn't seem to do anything, I think it looks cute. And I enjoy having it on a shield for aesthetics and stuff sometimes, you know? Especially like a kind of cheapy, like, not so powerful shield that, you know, you're not necessarily gonna use, but like, it looks nice. <laughs> when it comes to weapons, I can fuse it to the tip, and it provides some extra flowery visuals as well, but not so much a power buff or anything like that. There doesn't seem to be a purpose for the ring garland other than it just being a fun souvenir that Coco was inspired to make. And it's adorable to see. It's adorable to see it in action in Kakariko. Everybody supporting her little small business. Just don't step on the garland or climb on it. She will get mad. But yeah, having it on a shield, super cute. I like it there. And of course, you can always go to Terrytown in order to break things down or pull apart the fused things all for 20 rupees. That certainly helps when fusing random things together to see what happens. The second weapon I think is super cute that I like to see, you know, is utilizing the talus hearts. Once you destroy a talus in combat, one of the drops includes the talus heart. Fusing it to a sword makes it look like an adorable weapon, like a heart-shaped lollipop. That's pretty much what I love about it, you know? It's this cute heart and it looks like a heart-shaped lollipop or something. It, it's nice. I like fusing it to something shorter so you can see that. Otherwise, with the longer weapons, it kind of sometimes clips into the ground and I don't love that. Unlike the garland, this does have some weapon power though. Like, it's not totally useless or anything and I'm sure you can like get some strong stuff with it but like i said i know it's probably not like on your huge most powerful weapons you know more so just i like it it's made of a sturdy rock and you can smash other rocks and things with it of course it's a cute one the luminous stone talus heart lights up in the dark just as the luminous stone would and it helps when navigating the depths or enjoying nighttime with a glowing heart-shaped lollipop looking weapon or you could probably just put on the shield have it like oh it's light going away going around I adore it. I like the heart shape. It's adorable. Next, I've got this giant sand seal monument I can fuse things to. This is a huge thing. I found this early on in my playthrough when I first landed in Gerudo Town. It's a monument piece right behind Riju's throne, and it can be moved with Ultra Hand in order to get this to the secret underground Gerudo shelter. And I figured, you know, that's obviously its purpose, you know, move it aside, go under. But I was surprised to see that you can also fuse with it. Like, you can fuse this thing, it with things. It was a surprise because there's a lot of stuff that can be utilized with Ultra Hand, but not with Fuse, obviously. So this was interesting. Its size varies a lot, of course, by what it's fusing with. And that's another thing I love about the Fuse system. But yeah, that's just one thing I like. And so like in reality, it's huge. In the pause menu, it's also pretty huge, but it can be shrunk down to even smaller sizes when fusing to a shield or something else, like a weapon. Honestly, when I first did, like came across it, like I said, early on, it was kind of a good thing to fuse to, I think. It gave some power. It wasn't totally useless or anything. It's not completely useless, but yeah, I just thought that was an example of seeing something that you can move around, but also, yeah, you can fuse and take it away and... I can bring it all the way to Terrytown if I want and have the sand seal there now. <laughs> Continuing with the sand seals, did you know that you could fuse the stuffed sand seal toys to things? The first time I saw sand seal plushies was actually not in Gerudo Town though. It was between the Rowan and Soleri Plain, right in the middle of this circle of trees. The closest shrine is the, oof, 
Kiyu Yo Yo Shrine. I don't know these pronunciations. But uh, once you travel to the Circle of Trees, you find this woman and her horse carriage, which is full of sand seal plushies. This lady is delivering these plushies for the children, and she's going over her lines for when she arrives to pass out the plushies. She is the sand seal plushie lady, as she says, calling herself. But interrupting her lines or, you know, her speaking to herself, it causes her to get spooked as well as the horse, which bucks all the plushies into the air and scatters them all around. There were 10 plushies in that cart. The point of this is then to play this fun little game of getting them all back into the cart while under a timer. The first time I tried this, I just barely missed the last plush to land into the cart. And that involved me grabbing them and running back and dropping it in and then running back to the next one and grabbing blah blah blah. You know, as you would probably think. But uh, if you just fuse them together, I think it's a big time save. And then you can just make this conglomerate sand seal like thing and put the entire unit into the cart. A little bit might like slip away, but you know, you got it. Just fuse them. They can be a little finicky in the cart, so just fuse them and you're good. The reward is 50 rupees and it's just a cute fun game. But if you can't access those seals to fuse with, where do you find some? You may already know this, but Riju has a number of them in her bedroom. Surprisingly, you can fuse them to things. Whether it's a shield or a weapon, they don't add anything really other than the novelty and the silliness of it. I think it's just a funny cute thing to put on a shield and once again, Seeing the size changes among the plush when they get fused to different things keeps the mechanic pretty fun. And it's cute! It's a cute little thing. I think you can also find another plush or two around Gerudo Town if you need, but yeah, if you just go to her bedroom or so, like up above a level, you can find some. I just love the sand seals in general, and I like that I can carry around my own now, even if it is like stolen property, kinda. Another fun fuse thing is to steal from shrines. This is another case more so of me just going, oh, you can fuse that? Yeah, at one particular shrine, I found so it had some uh, balls dropping and squares when you used one, you know, it replenishes. As other shrines do when you have to, like, use a resource, sometimes they replenish it, and obviously, you know? But I didn't think you could take things out of the shrines. Seems you can if you fuse them, some things, at least with things you could. So, you know, if you want, you can just fuse the things to a shield or a sword, Again, for no no real power buff or anything like practical, just for the novelty of it, I guess, or the silliness, you know, that's the whole theme here. Um, and then you can just go with it. I thought it was fun to see, and I thought it's just a fun thing you can take from the shrine and just, again, bring it to Terrytown, just as you can with the sand seal thingy. Just one of those interesting things. And I like the look of this big, you know, sphere just on my weapon or my shield as well as this cute cube you yeah, like it's just silly i liked seeing that <laughs> it's not a powerful fusion but just a fun one free the shrine materials so that's my like five you know things to fuse with that's not quite powerful but just kind of fun or cool let me know your favorite fusions though i'm very curious if you have them or if you have other weird things to fuse with or just different things that you came across definitely let me know your experiences as well but thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye!